I was born and raised in Nixa, Missouri. Where I'm filming this right now is Springfield, Missouri, but by the time you're watching this, I've probably moved back home to my hometown, Nixa. Nixa, like everywhere else, is not a perfect place. However, there are lots of fantastic qualities Nixa possesses that most other cities just simply don't, making it a great place to move to. Especially paired with some of these surrounding cities like Springfield, Branson, and Ozark, there was literally anything that you would want to do on this planet here, besides maybe snowboarding, uh, uh, big mountains, but you know, you can't have everything. Nixa has changed drastically even in the two decades I have been in and around it. Now I've just wrapped up my Springfield, Missouri series, pros and cons, moving to it, things you need to know, things to do in Springfield, and everything you would want to know about living in or moving to Springfield, Missouri, and now we're switching gears to Nixa and focusing on Nixa, Missouri. So if that sounds like something you're interested, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And hey, my name is Grayson Roberts, a realtor, a real estate agent in the area. So if you're looking to relocate, I would love to work with you. You can email me at graysonroberts at kw.com or call or text me 24 hours a day, seven days a week at 417-501-4660. With that out of the way, let's talk about getting you here to Missouri. Now, today's video is going to be a broad overview of Nixa. As we are going to break down small little minute details later in the series. So first things first, Nixa is not a big town, but it's not super small either. And it, it's all relative. If you're coming from places like New York or LA, uh, Nixa is going to feel like a ghost town. If you're coming from places like, you know, Ava, Missouri or, or Cassville, Nixa is going to feel like a metropolis, right? So, but our population at the end of the day is about 22,000 people, which we are much smaller compared to the big brother, a little bit north about 10 minutes Springfield with about 200,000 people living in in the city of Springfield so yeah Nixa on the grand scheme of things and in most people's opinion is a pretty small town and it feels like it one of my favorite things about living in Nixa even though it's a small town we have all sorts of restaurants at every price range Chinese Mexican Japanese uh, anything that you would want barbecue everything and it's all great and reasonably priced all relatively within a short distance of wherever you live in Nixa now another thing let's talk about driving traffic in Nixa is really non-existent you know if even used to living in Springfield at five o'clock Nixa seems like a breeze and to me I've been to Nixa many times at five o'clock and used to live there uh, it, it's not that bad people that live there might say oh it's bumper to bumper at 9 a.m. on the way to Springfield and, and 5 p.m. on the way back to Springfield because most people in Nixa work in Springfield because it is a much bigger city. But listen, I've been through both periods for years and years and years. It's not that bad. Traffic in Nixa, you could breeze around any time of day and they're constantly expanding. There used to be some more congestion at the, uh, I think it's the 14 and, and, and one, uh, 160 intersection and they just added a bunch more lanes and they're doing that all over the city because the city is rapidly growing. Why? Well, because there's a lot more stuff to do. Some of the best school districts, great restaurants, and a low cost of living, which we'll talk about here in a second. So Nixa is rapidly expanding down the highways. So it seems like every month there's something else to look at or do or or spend your money at and do something at, which is great because we have a thriving community. Now let's talk about the cost of living. We are a little bit more expensive than Springfield, but for good reason. Mostly because it's safer, it's smaller, it's quieter, it has much better schools, and it's just generally a safer and higher quality place to live. I've lived in both cities for many years and I do like Nixa better, but Springfield has much more things to do. However, it's really only a 10 to 20 minute drive to one city or the other, so it's not that big of a deal. The cost of living in Nixa, Missouri is 6% cheaper than the national national average and housing is 11% cheaper than the national average. So it's still pretty cheap to live here. And it basically means that with how quality Nixa is, if you have a family and you want a quiet, safe place to just hang around and, and, and grow your family, Nixa is a great bang for your buck. Like I said, there isn't a whole lot to do, but that's why we're 10 to 20 minutes from Springfield, which has pretty much everything. Or Ozark, if you want to look at some pretty trails and go to some really, really fancy, cool restaurants. Uh, you know, we got Bass 
Pro. There's all sorts of stuff within like a 10 to 20 minute radius around Nixa. And if you want to take it a step further, drive about 30, 45 minutes south of Nixa, you're going to hit Branson with Table Rock Lake and Silver Dollar City and the Whitewater Water Park and everything that you would really want to do. We even have kind of a top golf knockoff called Big Shots. It's basically the same thing, except you can't use a driver, unfortunately. So long story short is Nixa is a perfect kind of central location in Southwest Missouri to be around a lot of fantastic stuff to do while taking advantage of little traffic, low cost of living, and of course, safe and great schools. Thank you guys for watching. This has been the broad overview on moving to Nixon, Missouri. If you would like to relocate and use me as your agent, definitely call or text me any time of day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 417-501-4660. And I'm looking forward for you being my neighbor here in Nixon, Missouri.